He are coming around the mountain when they come, when they come. He are coming around that almighty mountain when they come, when they come. I want to paint almighty mountain with the almighty color. This time, or never. I tell you, it will be all different. See, we have always the blue sky, we have always a, uh, sometimes a green sky, a orange sky, but this time we have an almighty, oh, watch that sky, watch that. I want to show you just how we can use colors. Colors, it's like a tune, it's like music. You have it high up, you have it down in the basement. Here I can power, I want to power out that almighty mountain with, with too much light, with orange, like the sun, the let sun hits it, and there will be, okay, black. But the blue, passion blue, a little in crimson. Look at all that, that's a dark color. And orange, and orange. But you must think the white is on the canvas. I got the magic right on the canvas, and I will start off the sky. Oh, look at that, it's a kind of a brownish, brownish. Oh. See, I will show you today, it's a good lesson again, because you will see, uh, we need some time in dark in order to show light. Light on light, nothing on nothing is nothing. So if I show you that the, the truck is blue, I will put ah, a little bit lighter on. I still want to give him that bit of, I would say here is the horizon line, this kind of a color up from there, kind of a color up from there, up from there, up from there. We have these like that. We have these like that. See here, I will make that whole canvas a little bit in the same tune. And then we can fire up. Now that's the sky, we fire right in the water, the mighty water. Bit more orange, orange in between here. Oh, look at that. See what, you, what we can do? We are sometimes so stuck with the blue sky or with the, with the, you know, that's what we see every day and we think it has to be like that. But there are skies like this. Some dark days. And then there's a kind of a twilight. And the let sunbeams hit that almighty mountain. Hit that almighty mountain. Oh, you fire the sky right into the water. Right into the water. That's the lake next to that almighty mountain. That could be our mountain. Mount Aerosmith, I live on. Ah, it's beautiful. This world is much too beautiful. Beneath the white blue sky. Beneath the white blue sky. White blue sky. Mm, bit darker here. Hey, now we got that tune. Yeah, that tune. We make it a little bit more orangey uh, in between here. Kind of a horizon line we build up there and let fire right into the water. That orange here, orange here. That's good. And let it leave it, leave it, leave it like uh, movement, movements, 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 movements. That's good. That's good. That's good. That only should be in the water too here. A bit more. You hardly can see it. I hope the camera can pick it up. That's not so easy. Not so easy. So that's the sky. Look at the background. Now can you see on that dark? I pay, oh, watch this. I will have Indian yellow as a sunshine color. Look at, it, look at that, look at how we get it together now. Can you imagine this on this? Oh, ho, ho, who, 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 you will say, who. Watch this. So I think this is a nice color here. I will just create like Mount Hood, Mount Hood. 
not far from us here. It's kind of a peaky mountain. It can be any mountain, but I think I want to bring it out so nice with that almighty power there. Isn't that wonderful how that f comes out? Boy, that pops up. Now I use white and the same color. See, I make it just lighter to get that real bright highlight on top there. Oh, like this. Oh, God, look at that. Oh, is it ever, is that nice? Is it ever nice? It is so nice. See, now I use all those orange colors for whatever here, maybe here a little bit, here, here, and leave darks in between, then you have it all the darks. Here, yeah, there, that's the sunny side, that's the sunny side. Now the other side I will use more alizarin crimsons, the alizarin crimsons, and a bit of this, I mix it a bit of a reddish, Fiery tune. Let's see if it harmonizes. Rhyme, rhythm, harmony. Rhyme, rhythm. Oh, ah, oh. oh, that hurts. It does. It really does hurt. Look at this. See what different, what a different mound you power out there in the dark, it's the evening, dark evening, and let all that glory be on top, and then let's go down. Down in the valley, down in the valley, valley so low, so low, so low. You hear the echo from mountain to mountain. You hear the echo from mountain to mountain. That's a good lesson. See, now you will never be scared again to use colors. Fire off those colors. And I tell you, when you sell paintings, some homes, they need a color like that. They have their curtains or their carpets or whatever. And that's wonderful when you give them a painting in this direction, in this direction. Now we will fire in a bit more Indian yellow here. And I will create the highest of the highest I can. This, I think, is the highest. And we go again. I want to get that almighty power up there. And create a rim. See, I create that rim where the sun hits this side. See? Now you can just reverse the whole thing into that oh, peak is here, that's where it is here. And you just fire it in roughly, just you get the idea. Fire it into the water. See, now on this side, use it. Uh, a little crimson and a bit of that blue, that dirt, what I have here. See, that gives me that beautiful back colors. Darker, 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 darker colors. Fires right into the more, 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 a little in crimson. He fires right into there. See? 
That's wonderful. Then we split it in half, and then we have banana split. We have banana split. We split it in half. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That is so nice. <sighs> Here will be the horizon line. I will put it up there. And in the dark, there's nothing in, anymore. Here, you fire right into to, to the water there. Fire that right into the water, too. Then you have that mountain line right in the water. But then we have to create a bit of snow, a bit of whatever. Now let's see. Now we work it out between you and the good old Lord. You can make a beautiful, beautiful painting. A painting. See, because the peak is actually deeper here, but you let it just run out of the canvas. Here's that run out of the canvas. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Now we will we will have a dark uh, blue and a little crimson, and we create a kind of a dark in between there. Oh, that's, you can hardly see it. The trees and it's, it's whatever it is that is the dark there in between. Very dark. More alizarin crimson. More alizarin crimson. See, something like this. Now I got it together. I got it all nice together. Got it all nice together. Now we will, we will, we will. Watch. Now we have to create kind of a snow patches up there. I will use white and a bit of blue. And we have to, this has to be figured out right. See, white and blue, the blue, but it's too blue, then we have to watch it. See, that could be all right on the, on the shadow side. And as this happened, there's a bit of a snow patch there. See? And let it disappear. And let that snow patch pop up there in the water too. See, yeah, this is right. Won't go deeper. With the blue and white. Blue and white. This kind of a blue. But you have to wait. You have to use your own taste, whatever. See, it is, there's odd colors here. All odd colors. And the, the water, the snow is usually always on top. Good. Leave that as the snowy side. Now we will fire in with kind of a white. But the white will look funny. But I tell you, we have to, let's see how it looks. Sometimes it is, for, if I have to see it, then I can accept it. If I can accept it, then it's good. If I can't accept it, then I... Remodel it. It's all right. It's all right. Can you see the snow on this side of the mountain? It is white. And on this side of the mountain is blue because the shadow side. And now that dark, that dark background. See? It's a very powerful, very powerful painting. A very powerful painting. Just let the snow run out wherever you think is the end. That's the end. Maybe that's what we leave. That's what we leave behind. Snow. Now that I think is a wonderful lesson because you really see the difference of, of, uh, of skies. And we get off that blue sky for a while too. See, I try to see it that way. 
But it's a painting. We have, when you paint for 40, 50 years in your lifetime, I tell you, I have painted almost, I don't know what didn't I paint, what didn't I paint. But then, on the end, you become the creator, you become that almighty, I wish you would learn that, this. you don't have to copy. Usually what we do, we see a photo and then we try to, I still go to books, even now sometime, and I get excited about certain things, and I say, hey, that would be good to show. That's nice, because you need a variety, you need colors. You know, you have to make that happy buck. If you have always that one type of a painting that's forever and ever, you know, I think it would be, I would be, I don't know, I would melt. I couldn't live it that it's the same group work on the car deal and put that screw in all the time, put that lousy same screw in for 10,000 times in your lifetime. And it will not, will not click, actually. And that's the same with the painting. It's nice to get up in the morning and say, oh, today I have a still life. Sometimes you set up a glass, and you see the sun going through that almighty glass. And, oh, God, is it ever breaking. And then you have half of that glass in the sun and half of that glass in, in the shadow. You will be surprised what you see. The same with, with red colors, roses, something red, roses. Try to make it half in the sun and half in the shadow when you set it up. That it pops up, the, the roses are so tender, you know, they are so, so transparent. That's all a part of art, all a part of creating. If you could learn that, oh, life can be so wonderful. And when you have it done, you feel like you come out of the shower. There's such a wonderful, wonderful feeling. So, you know, here I show you something absolutely, a lot of times you would say, that's impossible. Because we are artists, we can use colors, use the colors, they are there. But abstract is fantastic, you know. But how far, see, this is my problem. I cannot understand uh, far with modern art, I have trouble. And I'm this surprised as people, galleries live off modern art. That means I am the dumb dumb. I must be dumb. I have, I'm scared to do it. I can do it, I have no problem. But I'm scared to do it because I feel my neighbor would say, Bill, get nuts. When he sees that painting, I would call him and say, hey, uh, come take a look what painting I paint. He would say, oh, that looks good to me. He would be nice to me only. But when he comes home, he would talk to his wife. He would say, you know, Bill, get nuts. He is going crazy now. He's painting all kinds of chicken foots and, and whatever. But the galleries accept it. See, it's, it's funny. We live in a world... Sometimes you don't understand it. Sometimes you wish you live on the outside, far in the bush, what I do already now. I live happy in the bush with the animals, with the bees and the birds, and no one bothers me. I hear a rooster far away, and in the morning when we wake up, you know, it's, it's just such a wonderful, wonderful feeling to, to be alive with, with, uh, with Mother Nature. Because you get so disappointed, this the main galleries accept that and, and the people are so brainwashed it is a name. What the hell they are doing with that lousy name? I think the power of art is, you know, I, I would say the, the real artist is the traditional artist but has to get perspective, he has to get depths, he has to make something and you can go abstractive, you can abstract it a bit, you know, it's nice. But let the tree still be a tree, at least if you say on the end, it is a tree. And if you say, I have a dot there, and or if you say, I oh, know it's a shoe, no, no, that's a dot, uh, whatever, you know. But I, I say, I have, I have problem to understand. But this, I have no problem. It gives me a part of uh, a, a powerful feeling. The colors, they are, they are harmony. It's rhyme, rhythm, harmony. That's in music the same thing. Can you imagine you, you harmonize into a band? Oh, God, that is so full. And you lift off. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, I breathing trouble. It's, to me, sometimes I have breathing trouble because I just can't understand it. It don't let me breathe out and in right. But then when you see colors, they are... Harmony, rhyme, and rhythm that makes your blood go easy to your heart and easy to your veins, and, and you feel like it's cleansing. You know, it's, it makes you feel good. Colors can do that. Melodies, a tune can do the same thing, my friend. 
melodies, beautiful, beautiful melodies sometimes. I think then, then you can love, all of a sudden out of that comes love. But then music can become hate. You can have march music where you get them all going in, in, in the march. You can have funeral music where you have all going slow, you know. When I talk about that, because a part of art, as a part of us being here on this earth, I don't want you to copy paintings. Uh, see a photo and f copy that lousy photo, and then you put your name on that. That's actually not your painting at all. Your painting is that painting what is came free out of your out of your heart, came free out, you had it already, and you put that rhyme, rhythm, harmony, and the glory and the sunshine in, or or sometimes sad things. You can paint a story. I paint a lot of stories now where I, I get so sad too myself. Because I want it to be sad. It is uh, I don't want to talk about those kind of things because a lot of paintings, when I will be dead, the people will not accept them because there's... Uh, an artist is very sensitive, and I bet you are too, because we have to live with our me, or you have to live with you. And uh, a lot of people would say, that guy is crazy. And it is just the nicest thing in life for you. Me, I am on earth, I breathe here, and let me do what I want to do. But then, I still would like to be a good neighbor, I still would like to be a good friend, I still like to be, um, I, I, once I have that feeling I was good on this earth, I just didn't destroy anything. Okay, I have spoken, did I? Sometimes you, yeah, you are nuts, you know, you get so involved in uh, things and then you let it go. And I did let it go. I hope you're not mad of me. Sometimes you have to <laughs> let it go. See, because this kind of a painting will already start it off. Because I know it will be sometime an argument. But it is a wonderful thing. You see that dark, dark sky, is this the dark evening dawn is already around you. It's some evenings they are really morbid. And but out of that comes that powerful look. Light on dark is fantastic. Light on light is nothing on nothing. And here I showed you on this particular painting, I showed you the power of, of light. You are the sunshine. You are the light. You are the sunshine. I want the sun on that mountain. I want that light on that mountainside. And it was on that mountainside. It's not nice to think like that. And crazy, but that's nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now that's enough of that. But then, you know, think about Van Gogh. He cut his ear off. <laughs> I think we all artists, you know, they have, they have, we are very sensitive people. All people that really watch me, you, you, you down there. Usually people that don't like art, they never watch my show. But when you watch my show, you are very sensitive. You are very, to me, you are a very valuable human being because you, you want to make it happen and you want to do it out of your heart. And that makes it, uh, that makes it so nice. See, with love in your heart, there is a tomorrow. With love in your heart, you never fear sorry. With love in your heart, you grow like a tree. With love in your heart, you are happy and free. Beautiful, beautiful. See, now, let's go on. I have enough. Uh, the, uh, I hold the brush a bit, fl uh, not like this. I hold it a bit like this, see? And you pull it down, see? Pull it down. Pull it down, pull it down, pull it down. In the water, see, you have to have those lines. But clean your brush. In no time, the brush is full of dirt. See? Clean your brush. Always clean. See what I do here? Clean. See, I wash out a lot now. But let's see. I will see when it's finished. Wash your brush. Clean your brush. See? see look how dirty the, that brush is. So wash your brush. With a dry brush, you can do fantastic. Make sure the brush is clean and dry. Now I go to, to the clean side, out. See? Straight lines. 
straight lines. Here I pull it like this, straight lines like that. See, I need a bit more, more power in the water. I lost it. Then you go over again. I use the colors. The, this, the, maybe I should put a bit of here in to, to show you what, what it means sometime. See, and then, then you come out from here like there. See, that adds to your painting. Just a little bit of... Uh, see, by doing that... I created a kind of a, a, a something there, so it is not dead. It is not really dead there. You know, we make sure it's all nice and straight. Then now you make water out of that. Nice side movements. See. Now you can you can use uh, there's not much sunshine down below, but you can use the blues there on the shoreline, kind of a bluish tune. See, that's the water line. See how nice that works out. That's on the shadow side. Look at that. Fantastic. See. And maybe a couple blue lines there. See? Couple blue lines there. And you had a wonderful, wonderful painting. Did you enjoy that? It was alm almighty different now. But I think we all learned something from that, isn't it? Thank you for watching me. And have fun. I love you. Bye-bye.